We pass it almost every day, hopping on the highway to the grocery store to visit friends to church or on the way to Nana and Pop Pop's house. We've noticed the tiny black and white lighthouse in the distance and have always wondered, but never explored. Turns out it's practically right in our own backyard. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. So did you know that not all sunflowers are yellow? That young sunflowers track the sun. Their faces follow the sun every day from sunrise to sunset, and it's called heliotropism. Sunflowers are actually native to North America, and their heads are made of thousand tiny little flowers. Oh yeah, and they can self-pollinate, which in my opinion is amazing. But it's the sunflowers track the sun, their faces following the sun every day from sunrise to sunset part that is straight up lesson to my life. It's the part where they follow or face the light, friends, to stay connected to the source. It's a 99 acre family owned and run farm in South Jersey with a beautiful six acre lake. We stopped by during the week where there was no line of parked cars, no food vendors, no music, no paddle boat rentals, wine tasting, or beer gardens in sight. And yet we still had such a beautiful time. I've been his wife for the last 15 years and their mama for the last and counting. Everything I've learned about being their mother and his wife has come as a result of faith and love. Believing in things I know nothing about and hoping for all the stuff that I just can't see in the moment. And can I just tell you a little lesson that I learned in the sunflower fields this day? A lesson that seems to always result in the most beautiful of blooms. The day after our visit, I got a text from my daddy with a photo of the exact same big red Farmall tractor. He had just visited a tractor museum near him and was sharing a little story of how his grandfather taught him to drive that very same massive red tractor on their farm as an eight-year-old boy. I couldn't get over how connecting his message felt. I replied back with a picture that I had just taken of my babies on that very same red tractor and followed it up with what felt like a few thousand of the care emojis because that's how a good human should express emotions through text message. (laughs) Connection with the ones we love makes a difference and it adds to the richness of our lives. Even if our human connections feel distant, broken, inadequate, confusing, etc. Our connection to the source that nourishes us will forever sustain. So yeah, y'all, I'm always learning, always growing, and forever making efforts to stay connected to the source. Right in the middle of this beautiful field of sunflowers with their faces tracking the sun, refusing to be blinded by the darker moments in life. This is where we learn, where we get better, how we grow. It was so nice to be in such wide open spaces where there was no need to rush and plenty of room to explore. 
Consider the stories that life tells and the lessons we can learn to make the days ahead full of unshakable joy, friends. Always learning, always growing, because life is so very full of lessons, and our goal, as always, is to live and to learn. With all the love, Serena.